Today I'm going to show you guys what I eat in a day. Um, my first meal of the day is oatmeal and peanut butter. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what um, Ariel did when Ursula was taking her voice in The Little Mermaid so that she could get leagues. I, no, I don't know what any of that meant. <laughs> Let's continue on. so much when you don't, when you're ashamed of who, who you are. I have spent most of my life hiding who I really am because I've been ashamed, embarrassed, and scared of judgment. This is really difficult. <laughs> um, when I was little, I was totally different from all the other kids. I was independent. I preferred to be on my own. I was an introvert. I think a lot of it had to do with my parents divorced when I was one and a half and I didn't ever remember living with them as a married couple. So I grew up going from place to place. My mom was a single mom, so I went to daycare when she was working or my grandma's or my nonna's or I was at my mom's or I was at my dad's. My dad always had different girlfriends. He never lived in a steady place. So I was, when I was with him, I was at girlfriend house, girlfriend house, girlfriend house. So I got used to being independent. I grew up really fast. I was an only child and I got used to being on my own. Most of the time I was playing on my own. And because I was, you know, dealing with a lot of stuff as a little girl, I built this world in my head and I liked being there. I didn't really like interacting or socializing with other kids. But as I started to get a little bit older, I started realizing you're supposed to be a certain way as a kid and I wasn't like that. And then at five, if you watch some of my other videos, at five, I started noticing that my body was not what I wanted it to be. I thought my belly was big and any things that I did do that were social, like gymnastics, I stopped doing because I was embarrassed of my body at five years old. So I started hiding in myself even more. Then at 11, I turned to disordered eating and I started hiding myself behind the eating where I would um, binge when no one was looking or hide in my room and eat and just be by myself. I started getting heavier and as I started gaining weight and my eating got more and more out of control, I fully developed an eating disorder and I started to then think I could hide behind my weight. I thought I could disappear by getting bigger. I thought nobody wants to have anything to do with a girl who's bigger, so they'll leave me alone. I didn't realize it was actually drawing more attention to myself. And here I was, this like weirdo introvert girl struggling with all of these things and totally ashamed. I even grew a full set of bangs across my forehead and I grew them so that they would hang into my eyes to hide actually physically hide me. I grew my hair long and I walked my head down so that when I walked everything covered my face and I kind of felt I guess like Harry Potter wearing an invisibility cloak like I felt like I was making myself disappear because I was embarrassed of everything that was me. You know my, my dad also he left when I was 10 so then I wasn't even going to his house anymore and I just felt like okay I must be right to hide myself because I, nobody likes me <laughs> and you guys are asking more recently in the comments section when you see me going like lawnmowing and like you know dancing and being silly you guys are asking were I love your energy were you always this fun and silly and full of life yes but only behind closed doors only on my own or around people that I really really trusted and really that's only been Kyle I've had a couple of close friends here and there throughout the years that I was a little bit myself but the only one I've ever truly been able to be my full weird like lawn mowing aerial singing self with is Kyle and now 
that I've worked on myself a bit and I've lost the weight. For those of you that don't know, I was 275 pounds. I struggled with an eating disorder. I've healed from that and I've, I've lost 130 pounds and kept it off for six years. I feel more confident now to share who I really am with you, the friends watching. But if you go back to, like I've been on YouTube for six years, and if you go back, you will not even believe it. Like it's shocking how different I am. I don't really have any life. I'm so worried about what people are thinking on the other side of the camera. Go back and watch my old videos. Like it, it will amaze you. You'll think like that's not even Nicole. Hi guys, it's time for meal two. We usually space our meals two to three hours apart. Meal two is a hard boiled egg, a little bit of salt, sugar free pudding cup, and a quarter cup of strawberries. Okay, it's meal three. Meal three is chicken, sweet potatoes, and veggies. It wasn't. It was almost like, like an avatar, like, cause I was so ashamed of like this, cause this is what I do all day, like, I, when I'm me, I'm bouncing and beeping and singing and stomping around the house. But when I'm stuck in my head or trying to be a people pleaser, I kind of act like a robot like that. And it's funny, and a lot of people are like kind of asking, was that, is your character now fake? Yeah. It's actually funnily and funny enough, the opposite. Yeah. The early years of YouTube for Nicole was fake. Because she, like she's been saying, she was so worried about what you guys would think and the judgment. She was presenting this fake character. I was just embarrassed of, of being me because like I'm a weirdo that bounces around all day and I was really afraid of being judged. And really, when I was just being me and content, I got a lot of judgment. So I learned to kind of hide that because I was afraid of the judgment. And I've been working on my confidence and you, you guys can see it now like I the real me comes out in the silliness more but I'm still working on it like in some videos I, I might feel a little less confident that day and I'm not as beepy and Kyle calls it beepy that just means doing this because most of her actions and dancing and like when she's verbalizing it it's sounds it's not even words and you guys know she makes up a lot of words and has a lot of sounds that's real life behind the camera, she's the same way. She's always beeping. But And a lot of the questions are asking like, did the weight loss change it? No, you had to work on your self-confidence. It didn't yeah. like magically change when you lost the weight. I've always been the beepy girl. Always, since I was little. I did that, like, living in the world in my head that I did when I was little. I was always beeping around. Nicole was called by professionals what they would say would be a hyper child. <laughs> but. To put it I, nicely. <laughs> when I get, yeah. When I get stuck in my head, though, I become that sort of avatar character that you see in my earlier videos where I'm afraid to be me because of judgment. And there are some days even when I, you know, I'm at home and I'm stuck in my head where I don't beep as much. And then there are some times on videos where I'm like not feeling as confident where I don't beep as much, but I'm working on it. And it has been an emotional roller coaster. Like I've really made a pact with myself to be as much of me as I possibly can. It feels so much better to just beep around and be me instead of like putting up this front, like I'm just like everybody else, cause I'm not. But doing that in public, you know, saying what I mean, being honest, or saying what I really feel or not engaging in small talk, which I don't like doing at all, not being super social, cause that's not who I am. I feel judgment for those things. But I'm trying not to take it personally anymore. And it's been like, you know, someone played a song for me, a coworker today, a song that they really like, and it had something to do with being who you are and not being afraid of that and owning it. And because that's what I'm going through right now, I started to get teary eyed. And I was like, wow, this is like what I've been going through, like this struggle of like, feeling the pull to be like everyone else, but I'm not. And I'm, 
doing this video because any of you that might be struggling, that put up a front, or that have been embarrassed of who they are, know that you deserve it. You owe it to yourself to be who you are. It is so uncomfortable and painful to walk around not being who you really are, to be stuck up here, only saying and being what you think other people want. They want you. And I know like, I see in Kyle's eyes when he sees me beeping how happy he is to see me being me because he sees I'm feeling confident in myself and it sucks so much when you don't, when you're ashamed of who, who you are and I want you to know if you feel that you're not alone and I'm so tired of that and that's why I'm doing this video to tell you you'll be so much happier and feel so much better in your body, in your soul, in your mind. You won't be stuck in your head as much. You'll, you'll beep in your own way. When you embrace who you are and stop caring, it's not about what other people think. It's not easy. I have been on an emotional roller coaster for the last few weeks since I've made this goal to keep being me and confident but it's worth it. You are worth putting in the work and feeling that discomfort, that tension when you feel like you're being judged for being who you are, but you're worth going through it. And you're not gonna go through it alone because I'm here doing it. Kyle is behind the camera. He's doing his own working on confidence, his own journey like that as well. So you guys have two people right here that are going through it. You are not alone and you deserve to be fully you. Don't worry about other people People are gonna judge you whether you're you or whether you're not you. They'll actually judge you more if you're not you. And they're they gonna, want the you. They're gonna judge you if you're overweight, if you're underweight, if you're in the middle. It won't, it'll all be judgment. It comes from you. You it, have to work on your own self-confidence. It doesn't matter if, if you're a millionaire, if you're middle class, if you have whatever. It doesn't matter. Whatever your interests are, if you're an introvert, if you like being social, they're gonna judge you no matter what. So own who you are and be that. And I promise you, because I've made a lot of progress in three weeks, it gets better. And you feel more you, you wake up feeling more you and caring a little less. I still worry about people pleasing, I still feel like really judged for being me, but I'm keeping going on this journey. and. I'm gonna show you it gets better and you're gonna see me beeping more and just know we're here for you and we love you and this is part of my weight loss journey. This is like a, a new step. You know, I worked through my eating disorder through the weight. I've kept the weight off. I love what I eat. I love what I do for cardio. This confidence thing, it's like the toughest part of the journey. It, it's something that, that goes so deep that I'm working through from trauma, from a little girl, all the way till now. And it's a rough road, I'm not gonna lie, but it's totally worth it, guys. And um, yeah, that, that's it. I just, I just want you to know you're not alone and life is too short to feel not good in your body with who you are. And I mean on the inside and on the outside love everything about you, your imperfections, your strengths, your weaknesses, love it all and use it to make yourself better every single day and to feel good in your being. So that's it. Watch these two videos, like, subscribe, share this video so that we can help people learn they can be who they are and be more confident. The more eyes on this video, the better guys, because confidence is a huge thing for a lot of people, lack of it. And I really want to reach people and share my story so I can help people be more confident. And if you want to know how I lost my first and my next 50 pounds, I have two weight loss guides down below. You can go check the links out and yeah, watch these. And of course, no video is complete without the coal with lawnmower. Hoo, 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 hoo. And slippers on the counter. Llamas today. Whoa. Shake it till your mama made it. I don't know what that was. Love you. Oh. That was called uh, hyperventilating. <laughs>
<laughs> That's also called beeping. Bye guys. I'm out. <laughs> See you. I'm leaving it roll. <laughs> this is gold. Hey, they didn't know about the pretzel I almost fell. <laughs> Look at, can you do this? Wow! <laughs> I just discovered something really cool. <laughs> you don't put baby in the corner. You know about this stuff? Yeah. <laughs> Can you do this? <laughs> no. Hyperactive children. Strength of this. You know when I drink waters, I do this and sass laughs because I get water all over my lips. Yeah, when you drink water, you're supposed to have your mouth open, not closed, just a tip. <laughs> but I have a little mouth. It feels weird oh. like to do this. No comment. <laughs> Does anyone else drink water like a weirdo? No. <sighs> Tell me if you're a weird water drinker. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, goodbye. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> she just seen Cable Guy for the first time. Bye. See ya. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.